You've heard a lot about the great replacement theory recently. It's everywhere in the last two days, and we're still not sure exactly what it is. Here's what we do know for a fact. There is a strong political component to the Democratic Party's immigration policy. We're not guessing this. We know this, and we know it because they have said so. They've said it again and again and again. They've written books on it and monographs and magazine articles. They've bragged about it endlessly. They talk about it on cable news constantly. And they say out loud, we are doing this because it helps us to win elections. That's not something they've said once. It's something they've gloated about again and again and again. And we think that's wrong. And in case you doubt us, here they are. Blue Wave is African-American. Yeah! It's white, it's Latino, it's Asian Pacific Islanders. It is made up of those who've been told that they are not worthy of being here. Yeah. It is comprised of those who are documented and undocumented. In a couple of presidential cycles, you'll be on election night, you'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing, it's gonna become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics. The demographics of America are not on the side of the Republican Party. The new voters in this country are moving away from them. And instead, they're moving to be independents or to even vote on the other side. An unrelenting stream of immigration. Non-stop. Non-stop. Folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent, for the first time in 2017, will be in an absolute minority in the United States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength. <laughs> so you play clips of them saying it, and you're the deranged conspiracy nut. Maybe the funniest part is they may not be right. The Democratic Party has decided that rather than convince you people who are born here, that their policies are helping you and making the country better and stronger, they will change the electorate. Again, they say that. We're not guessing. But the funniest part is they may be wrong, actually, judging by recent polling. It turns out your average Salvadoran landscaper has politics that are a lot closer to Donald Trump's than they are to Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi. So their basic calculation may be completely wrong. But that's not even the point. It has nothing to do with who we're letting in. It has nothing to do with race and ethnicity. It has to do with two things. One, the purpose of the U.S. government is to serve American citizens, period. And two, you should never craft any federal, which is to say nationwide policy, in order to help a specific political party. That is by itself in isolation immoral. It doesn't matter what the policy is. And that's exactly what they're doing. And again, they brag about it. And not just Democratic Party politicians. Virtually every media figure on the left has been bragging about this for decades. Oh, it's a... Conspiracy theory, really? Well, here's Anna Navarro from her time as a Harvard fellow. This is what she wrote, quote, the demographic trends show that the minority vote in the United States will continue to grow in numbers and influence. Unless you're under the influence of hallucinogens, it is hard to imagine future scenarios where the Republican Party can win national elections. That piece, by the way, is called old white straight male voters ain't what they used to be, end quote. So let's see, if you don't want people to be paranoid and angry, maybe you don't write pieces like that and rub it right in their face and give them the finger day after day. Maybe that would de-escalate it a little bit, you think, Joe Biden, Anna Navarro? But they're not the only two. This has been the prevailing view on the left for a long time. Here's a political piece from 2013. We could go on for hours, by the way, but here's this, quote, immigration reform could be a bonanza for Democrats. The Democratic Party, the piece said, are, are, quote, pumping as many as 11 million new Hispanic voters into the electorate a decade from now in ways that could produce an electoral bonanza for Democrats and cripple Republican prospects in many states they now win easily, end quote. Again, as noted, that calculation may be completely wrong. A lot of those people the Democrats are importing may wind up being deeply sympathetic to the other party because they're actually not white liberals. That's the secret. But it almost doesn't matter how they vote. Thinking about politics in those terms is immoral. That is wrong. You are gaming the system. That is not democracy. It's the opposite. And they bragged about it for more than a decade. Here's another example, also from 2013. The Center for American Progress announced that, quote, supporting real immigration reform that contains a pathway to citizenship for our nation's 11 million undocumented immigrants is the only way to maintain electoral strength in the future. 
Oh, race repla great replacement theory, anyone? These people are lunatics. They're telling you what their strategy is. When you note it, they scream at you and call you a criminal. In 2018, the New York Times published an editorial called, We Can Replace Them. <laughs> Just in case subtlety is not your thing. Quote, Right now, America is tearing itself apart as an embittered white conservative minority clings to power, terrified at being swamped by a new multiracial polyglot majority. Right. Okay. In 2020, Joe Scarborough, a real moral voice over at MSNBC, quoted this, Trumpism accelerated damage done by demographic changes and will harm Republicans for years. Demographics is destiny, end quote. Are you allowed to say that? Once again, they're wrong. And if you haven't looked at an electoral, electoral map recently, look at the districts, the almost 100% Hispanic districts in the Rio Grande Valley that are bearing the brunt of our open borders. They're now red. So you're wrong, Joe Scarborough, but the fact that you're saying demographics is destiny tells you the great replacement theory is coming from the left. They don't think it's a theory, they think it's real. In 2021, the Washington Post's Jen Rubin celebrated a report that the number of white people in this country was declining. Can you even imagine? Quote, this is fabulous news, she wrote. Now we need to prevent minority white rule. My God, talking like that. Is there any more divisive thing you could write? We could give you a million more examples. We're offended by this because it's wrong, and we've said so. But for saying so, according to Carl Cameron on MSNBC today, we should be thrown in jail. Watch. You gotta watch out because the Republicans have become the purveyors of misinformation. And when our, our two-party system is broken like that, democracy is seriously in trouble. The president acknowledged that. It's time to actually start doing things and maybe taking some names and putting people in jail. Maybe taking some names and putting people in jail. Hmm, who would those people be? Well, thanks to the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York, we now know. Schumer just sent a letter to our bosses here at Fox News blaming this show for the mass murder in Buffalo as well as several other mass shootings in recent years. According to Chuck Schumer, this show spreads, quote, dangerous rhetoric and needs to be pulled off the air immediately in the name of public safety. Now, again, Chuck Schumer is a federal official. He is the leading Democrat in the United States Senate, and he is calling for media censorship. Now, there was a time, like maybe 18 months ago, and that would be considered a direct violation of the First Amendment. Now, we hear it every day. Let's throw them in jail. We wanted to hear more from Chuck Schumer about this. We invited him on the show tonight, as we always do. And because he is a coward, this is the only media appearance probably in history he's turned down.